And welcome to Encouragement 101. Today we're going to talk about choice and uh, get some encouragement from the choices that we make in everyday life. Everything from what we do, what we say, what we think, um, every little thing that you can possibly think of all day long you are doing nothing but making choices sometimes it's just rambling through life and going from the one thing to the next because it's habit like getting up in the morning going to the bathroom brushing your teeth going right downstairs getting that cup of coffee making your breakfast it's very routine but in any one of those you have a choice so today we're going to use mangoes and I have two mangoes and we're going to look at it as a choice so here are two mangoes they're exactly the same so someone asks you uh, would you like a mango you say yeah sure um, which mango would you like now you have a choice they both look the same and yet there's still a choice. You could choose the one on the right, the one on the left. Maybe one looks a little discolored than the other. Maybe one, uh, as you touch it and you feel it, one seems a little softer. One's not quite ready to eat. You know, you have to look at the situation. You have to almost look at the description for just a moment of what's going on. Like I said, are they soft? Are they hard? Um, look at the, the colors. Um, look at what's going on around it maybe the size maybe one's bigger than the other you know and it's in your mind as to what's going on so let's take this for example now you only have one mango and someone says to you would you like a mango and you say sure and they say which one would you like you're like well there is only one mango and really in all honesty there's still another choice there's always choices going on. Sometimes they're just not uh, right in the forethought of your mind. And some of that's because it's not a habit. You've never maybe encountered it before. But thinking of choices in this way can sometimes help you to see things that you didn't see before. So, for example, the second choice would be you just decide to decline the mango. You say, no, I think I, I, won't do, I won't do the mango. You know, maybe you felt it and it was too soft and you thought maybe it'd be bad or um, maybe it wasn't ripe yet. You know, you can use this kind of scenario in a lot of things. Sometimes in everyday life when you start getting angry, um, when you start getting frustrated with people, uh, work, something that's going on right in front of you, maybe the zipper won't work in your shirt or your jacket, you know, um, you, you're getting frustrated with it there's still a choice but in that moment it seems like there isn't in that moment the frustration comes so quick the anger comes so quickly the all the all the bad thoughts and uh, negative emotions that are going on sometimes creep up so quick that we're already in it we're already yelling we're already shaking our heads we're already feeling the blood boil and at any point there is a choice and you can choose to not feel that way you can choose to say I don't think I'll take the mango you can choose to say I don't want to be angry why am I getting angry at this it's just a stupid zipper <laughs> you know it's uh, why am I getting angry at this at work it's not going to help anything why am I getting angry at this at this person all it does is fuel um, other other issues, um, builds up more walls in relationships. And life is so much easier when those negative emotions aren't a part of your everyday life. So today, try to make good choices. Um, try to stop, even in loving situations, and see what choices are there that I can make. Are they good choices? Are they bad choices? And it may only happen in a fraction of a second, but the more that you do it and the more that you try to look for the choices in life, the easier it'll be to discern which choices are good and which choices are bad and start making the right ones. So today I want to encourage you in choice. You can make good choices. 
you can look forward and see what kind of choices that you have that there may be two, three, four, five, ten choices. You can see an infinite amount of choices in your life if you really, really, really focus on it and think about it. And you can do this. You are able to do it. Just take a deep breath, look around you, and ask yourself, what is the second option? What is the other option that I have here before I make an, an easy decision or a rash decision. And once you do it, you will feel so much better about the situation and yourself. And whether you have one mango or two, you'll be able to make an educated decision and feel good about the decision that you made and move forward in your life. Until next time, encourage each other, encourage me, and be safe.